I thought it would be a lot of fun to give a little bit more life to the swatches that Stomacher Fabric sent me for the swatch video. Uh, if you watch that video, then you know as I was going through the swatches, all of these different ideas for patterns and outfits and combinations of fabrics were coming together in my mind. Um, but yeah, I just thought this would be a really fun way to help you guys um, pick out some fabrics, pick out some patterns, know that they were going to work well together, and know that everything was going to match really well since I can see it with my own eyes. Um, and you can only see it through a computer screen. I thought this would give you a little bit more assurance that what you would be ordering would look like what you, we all have in our minds. So without further ado, let me take you to the swatches and show you what I came up with. First of all, I pre-washed all of these swatches. So whatever you see the swatches doing um, in terms of drape and recovery and all of that kind of stuff is after one pre-wash, cold cycle, tumble dry low, all of that. Also, all of the patterns are indie patterns, but they can be easily swapped out if you prefer Big Four. I think Big Four probably has something very similar to all of these patterns. Um, these are just what's available through Style Maker's website. So I thought it would be easy for you guys to be able to just to go one place, pay one shipping, and be able to get everything you needed to make any of these garments. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first up, I came up with this really cute little outfit with two different top options, but both paired with pants. So I wanted to do a play on like a high-waisted pant with a uh, lightweight, drapey kind of top that was a little bit cropped, meaning it's only going to cover the high-waisted pant um, by a couple of inches. It's not going to come down to the full hip. It's probably going to hit closer to the high hip. So for that, I chose the Closet Case Patterns Pietra Pants. Super cute with the um, sort of princess seam going down the center, elasticized back, but a flat front, cute little angled pockets, really, really sweet pants. They also have a cropped version, which is equally as cute. And for that, I chose I chose two of the soft wash linens. So these are the linens. Again, I pre-washed these. So this is what we're getting after one pre-wash. Still pretty substantial, still pretty structured, not very drapey, definitely not the rayon twill that we were all sewing with last year. This is like a true linen pant. And I think that the structure of this fabric will hold up really well to the lines and the structure of these pants. I mean, you have kind of a lot of seam lines here, definitely more of like a structured wide leg, and you have this uh, waist like situation that doesn't have a face I and mean, doesn't have a waistband, but it has a facing. So you need it to be kind of structured to kind of hold itself up. Um, so that's why I chose a little bit more of a structured fabric in the soft wash rayon. This is the color petal and this is the color orchid. And to pair with those, I mean, how beautiful do these look together? So the pink goes with the petal and the lavender goes with the orchid and they just match beautifully. Um, these are two different rayon crepes. Um, this one is the Feminine Spring Floral Rayon Crepe in Vanilla Rose. And this one is the Rococo Inspired Floron, Floral Rayon Crepe in Lavender and Coral. All of the fabrics and patterns will be linked for you in the description box. So please, please, please check that out. Here's how you access the description box if you're not sure. Tons of information there for you guys. So definitely be sure to check that out. Um, okay, and to pair with the lightweight, drapey, soft, wonderful hand of the rayon crepe, I have decided on two different patterns depending on your comfort level with showing a little bit of skin. <laughs> um, so the more modest one is the paper cut sequence top. It is a wrap top that ties on the side and it has this really beautiful flutter sleeve which would look great out of the rayon. And then also the True Bias Calvin top 
or dress. This also has like a version that has like a longer skirt if you wanted to make that as well. But um, this one is just a little spaghetti strap, adjustable straps, again with the wrap and ties around the waist um, with extra, extra long ties. And again, I thought that would be a really great match to the rayon being lightweight and drapey. It'd make a really comfortable springtime top. Um, certainly it's gonna be more like a camisole than like a structured shirt. Um, but you can pair your camisoles with cute little crop jackets or cardigans or something. If you wanted to have a little more of a versatile outfit with layering, you could certainly add something else to this um, outfit that would make for a beautiful like three piece situation. Something in the, uh, in the nude and beige colors would be really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, you have a lightweight flowy drapey top and then a more structured high-waisted pant for two different options on a really cute fun spring trend. All right next up we have your classic knit top and cute pattern bottoms. So I chose, starting with the bottoms, I chose the Megan Nielsen flint pant because it also comes with a really really cute short and I love a short with a long sleeve tee. So if it were up to me, I'd make the shorts with the long sleeves or the pants with the short sleeves, but obviously it's completely up to you. This is the Spring Poppy Stretch Sateen in navy and mustard. So it has a lot of really beautiful stretch along the uh, grain so that when you wear it in a short or a pant, you've got a little bit of wiggle room in terms of like literal wiggle room in terms of when labor you sit down, it'll stretch and kind of like form fit to your waist and your hips a little bit more. And then I've paired that with the rayon jersey knit in mustard. I think mustard and navy look really great together. It's not an exact match for this darker color here, but they definitely go together. And for the top, I chose the Paper Cut Patterns Kyoto sweater. I just absolutely love this little ruffle detail. It gives such a fun, feminine, playful spin on what would normally just be like a classic uh, t-shirt or sweater. Um, it's definitely giving me that feeling of what spring brings, you know, like just fun and flirty and easygoing and cute. Um, so if I were making this top though, I think this design is a little bit more for a sweater knit. So if I were going to make it out of this knit, the long sleeve version, I would do the hem without the band and the sleeves without the cuff. So just lengthen the sleeves a little bit to accommodate for the cuff not being there. Same thing with the hem. Eliminate that and just hem them straight like they've done on the short sleeve version. Short sleeve version, perfect as is. If the ruffle's not for you, leave it off, no big deal. But um, a really, really cute outfit for spring with the shorts and the t-shirt, I think is just absolutely spot on and this fabric could not be more versatile. It's gonna be great for spring, but you can also wear this in the fall. There's also other really great colors like light gray and white that you could also pair with this that would be really great in other seasons. Okay, probably one of my favorite of all the combinations that I've put together is this really cute play on print mixing. So as you can see, I have paired a window pane check with a variegated stripe. Similar color story happening though, so they are going to look very cohesive as you wear them. This uh, fabric is the window pane check cotton shirting in blue and white. Again, 100% cotton after it's been washed once. Um, it still has a beautiful soft hand, but still structured because, you know, it's a good densely woven shirting. Um, you can tell there's not a lot of drape to it at all. And I paired that with this for the color story and the pattern story, but also because this fabric, which is the multi-stripe linen blend shirting and in indigo and blue, has a little bit more of that drape to it. So you're kind of pairing something a little bit more on the lightweight side with something a little bit more structured that will create a good balance and proportion 
um, for your body with your outfit. So for the patterns, I chose the closet case patterns Cali shirt. This also has a dress version, but this is the shirt. It's kind of your um, more modern take on a button down shirt. It has a hidden placket. It has a cute little collar stand, no real sleeves, more of just like a dolman with a cuff cute curved hem with the also has a facing the back has a yoke and a pleat it's a really great take on a uh button down shirt that's gonna be uh loose fitting comfortable structured and really easy to wear and i have paired that with the true bias emerson and in my mind the way that i see this happening is really any version of the pants, whether it's the shorts, the pants, a cropped version, has this really great flat band on the waistband, uh, a bunch of different pleats in the front to give you some fullness across the front hip. The back is elasticized, so you have, you know, that accommodating the fullness in the back hip. And the way that I see this is you're wearing the top and you're doing a little bit of a French tuck into this flat band. So defining that waist, bringing in the shirt hem just a little bit, and having the structured top with the kind of lightweight, easy breezy, um, it's not necessarily drapey, but it is slightly drapier than the top. So it's going to give a more easygoing kind of vibe to it. So, and for the linen, it is, uh, like light goes through it, as you can see from my hand, but it's not see-through. So I think if you had like your whole body underneath it, like you would with hips and legs and all of that, you, you wouldn't see as much as it might seem. You'll just see through the parts where there's no body, like your ankle, like the, the bottom part of the hem here, you would be able to see light through the parts where your leg is not, but it's not going to be see-through. I hope that that makes sense. Um, I just think this is a really, really fun, fresh look with the blues and the whites and the uh, half tucked top with the, you know, flowy linen pant, I think is just screaming spring, obviously great transition into summer as well, especially if you make the short version. Um, but yeah, just a really cute, fun, easy, breezy outfit. All right, for this next one, I just couldn't narrow it down to just one or two options. So I'm giving you three <laughs> fabric combinations that I think would be excellent. Uh, so this is the trend that I'm loving right now, which is the lightweight sweater that has some kind of hem detail, whether that's a twist, whether that is a tie like the Megan Nielsen Jara, whether that's a French chalk, whether you tie it yourself, whatever it is, something happening at the hem paired with a lightweight, super drapey, uh, almost like a culotte that's a shorts length. So it looks like a little skirt, but it's really shorts. And so these are the Liesl & Co. Soho shorts. They also come in a cute little skirt if you would prefer that, but they have all of this beautiful pleating that creates that volume in the hip. Uh, same with the back and a defined waistband, cute little like slash pockets and are just gonna be like the lightweight short of your dreams. And then you pair that with the Megan Nielsen Jara, which has a drop shoulder, a um, crew neckline, and then this little tie detail, kind of offset to one side. Um, with this over top of this, giving you that defined waist where you can still see the waistband a little bit peeking out, but um, the comfort and ease of a sweater and shorts. So for the fabrics, I mean, how perfect are all of these paired together, right? This is the Vintage Romantic Floral Rayon Chalet in black and coral. And I have paired that with the Soft Gauze Texture Knit in Terracotta. And then this one is the Watercolor Spring Floral Rayon Poplin in Coral and Emerald. And that's paired with the same Soft Gauze Texture Sweater Knit in Citron. And then we have the Sweater Knit in the color Petal 
paired with the Ditsy Vine Floral Rayon Crepe in taupe and fuchsia. So you've got a rayon chalet, lightweight, drapey, smooth. You've got a rayon poplin that has a little bit more structure to it, soft, soft hand, um, still beautifully drapey. And then you've also got the rayon crepe as well, which is gonna have the texture, the texture, it's gonna have the opacity. You're not gonna be able to see through it. You can see it's a little bit more structured than the other two. Um, but still really beautiful and then paired with their sweaters I think would just be absolutely adorable okay this next one is another take on a t-shirt and pant look uh, this one is the Sohow 7 Tabor Tabor top and it comes in a bunch of different versions you have this drop shoulder on all of them and you either have a sleeve a short sleeve with a cuff, a short sleeve with no cuff, and then you have this pretty shaped uh, hemline, you have a straight kind of cropped hemline, you have a squared off hemline with slits on the side, and then you also have, it looks like three different v-necks. So you have like a knit band, it looks like, and then this one is slightly larger, and then this one is even bigger. So you can kind of pair up whatever you feel like is the most comfortable for you to wear, but also easier for you to sew. Like I imagine um, the ones with the larger necklines that have this little crossover thing are way easier to sew than these little itty bitty ones. So take that into account. I put that, I paired that with this Tonal Rose Floral Rayon Jersey in black and blush. Again, it's the it's a great t-shirt weight fabric. It's got a lot of stretch to it, also a lot of great recovery. So it's gonna make for the kind of lightweight, comfortable, soft t-shirt of your dreams. And then I've paired that with the Sohow 7 Free Range Slacks. These are elasticated all the way around. They have these really, really cute, um, oversized kind of patch pockets in the front no pockets in the back, interesting side panels, and then kind of like a straight cut on the leg. So not too tapered, but not too flared. And I've paired that with the Slub Texture Cotton Shirting in Magenta. And similar to the linen that we saw a couple of outfits ago, this one is going to be lightweight, um, a little bit uh, see-through with the light, but not like it's opaque with the light, but not totally see-through. Um, and it's gonna have enough of that structure to hold up to all of these elements of the pants, like the elasticated waist, like the straight leg, like the, all the extra seaming and all of that. And I just think the color of these flowers with this magenta, again, not a super, super matchy, matchy look, but they definitely go together really well. And bonus points, if you've got black leggings or skinny jeans, if you've got red pants, white pants, all of that, you'll be able to wear your new little t-shirt top with it as well. If I were wearing this, I would tuck the t-shirt, I'd make one of the longer hemlines, and I would tuck the t-shirt into the waistband. But that's just me, do what's comfortable to you. Um, the crop version would also be equally as cute, completely untucked, it would kind of just hang up over this waistband. Uh, it wouldn't come down too low on the hip. Um, so you would have a little bit less of a waist definition there, but um, it would still be proportional, you know, when the eye looks and sees the floral and then the uh, cotton, it's broken up in a way that is flattering for the body. I wouldn't necessarily do this version over the pants. That's just kind of too, uh, oversized things kind of like losing every bit of your shape that you have like no waistline anymore if you were to pair those two together but you can certainly make that one and tuck it in and it would be really really cute all right we have our last outfit here and again I put two color combinations together um, and it actually goes this with this and this with this like so but inspired by my Burnside bibs that I made the green ones that you guys might have seen, I decided to take this really, really cool single border print um, soft washed linen blend. 
sorry, you can tell I pre-washed it because all of these threads are everywhere. But you can see how all of this is the really beautiful sea glass color all the way from one selvage to about, I don't know, 10 inches or so. And then you get this variegated stripe in this beautiful teal color. And I thought that that would be so fun if you did all of the Burnside bibs, except for the little bottom hem here, the bottom part of the leg, all of that in the sea glass. And then this comes in in the bottom of the leg. It would definitely give some visual interest. I mean, the Burnside bibs already make you look 10 feet tall. And I think this would elongate you even more, draw the eye up and down, um, and really just be very, very striking. But I wanted to pair it, you know, because obviously it's completely backless and, you know, you need to wear a top underneath it. Um, these uh, rayon jersey knits are truly exceptional t-shirt weight um, knits. You will never buy another t-shirt fabric again once you get your hand on some of this. I mean, it it truly makes t-shirts that you were going to love, 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 love. So feel free to use any of the other t-shirts that I have featured in this video. But specifically for this um, little outfit, I decided to pair it with the Friday Pattern Company Grace uh, Tank. And I chose the Grace because it has this very interesting high neckline. I thought that it would be really nice to kind of, again, with the idea of bringing the eye all the way up and all the way down to have something visual all the way up to your neckline. But it's not just a true crew neck. It kind of has a little bit of like a cowl, slouchy, easygoing, again, kind of warm and comfy for spring, um, but sleeveless. And it has this beautiful back cut detail that's very, very very flattering on women when um, the, it's like cut back in like a razor back kind of. Um, it's just really beautiful on the shoulders and um, very, very attractive. Um, this one does have a high low hem. It doesn't really apply to this outfit though because it would all be concealed underneath the pants. So here is the outfit idea. Again, you have the um, the single border stripe soft wash linen blend in sea glass and teal paired with the rayon jersey knit in coral. And then I also took the rayon jersey knit in denim and paired that with the single border stripe soft wash linen in natural and terracotta. So you have kind of the cool blue colors over here paired with the warm um, natural, you know, colors of the terracotta version. And then to kind of juxtapose those, I put the cool colored um, jersey with this one and the warm colored jersey with this one. But feel free. I mean, obviously that's not terrible and neither is that. So if you want to be an all cool girl or an all <laughs> warm girl, you can go either way and mix and match these however you see fit. But, um, but truly, I think that this is like one of the cutest outfits for spring that will carry you through multiple seasons and you'll be reaching for both of these garments over and over again. And there you have it. What do you guys think of the outfits I came up with? I tried to um, think about different occasions and different um, experiences that you might be having in these outfits. And I also tried to consider other people's styles, not just my own. So hopefully you saw that come through as well. But let me know in the comments section below which of these were your absolute favorite. Michelle at Stylemaker Fabrics is doing a blog post that is going to have even more ideas than this and those ideas are coming from her and her brain and her style and all of that so it'll give you a little bit of a different perspective so I'll have a link in the description box where you can read that blog but other than that this is going to be it for me today <laughs> thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon bye